This video is brought to you by Joa, maker of premium Tesla and vehicle accessories. Claim your discount by using the link in the description below. So I finally got my first drive in Tesla's FSD beta version 12, and there were some pretty interesting moments. Here. No, 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 they, they big oh. time, they big time have the right of way. Yeah. That person waved and then the car started to go. That was wild. Does it do that? Huge thank you to Bradford Ferguson from Rebellion Air for coming all the way out here and driving me around and letting me try FSD version 12. He did offer uh, the driver's seat to me, but <laughs> I figured I'd have a easier time checking everything out from the passenger seat. I will link his channel below. We took FSD beta version 12 through downtown Ann Arbor to try some tricky spots that I know previous versions have messed up, and we found a lot of interesting scenarios with version 12. Now, version 12 is not perfect. Overall, I find it is far more assertive. It is very assertive. It just wants to go, go, go almost no matter what the situation is. And to be honest, that is one of my biggest complaints with older versions, version 11, version 10, version nine, they were just too hesitant. You'd have a wide open intersection, nobody around, and the car would stop and sit there and sit there and sit there. Or if there was a big gap, the car wouldn't take it and I just wanted it to go. Now with my brief experience with a version 12 here, it seems we've swung a bit too much in the opposite direction, but just barely. Now keep in mind, this is the worst that version 12 is probably going to be, and if Tesla can dial back that assertiveness just a little bit, we are gonna be exactly where we need to be. After downtown Ann Arbor, we do also go into my rural area, and spoiler alert, the lane drift I've been complaining about for almost a year does seem completely fixed, which is such a relief. Another huge improvement I noticed with version 12 is lane selection in general. Pretty much everywhere, lane selection was spot on. We had a left turn coming up, the car would move to the left. We had a right turn coming up, the car would move to the right. Sounds obvious, sounds simple, but in the current version 11, it is so often where you have a right turn coming up and the car will move all the way to the left in a multi-lane scenario and end up missing a turn or trying to cut people off. The biggest negative in terms of the assertiveness for me is its interaction with pedestrians. Version 11 is extremely polite, and I realize in certain areas of the country, certain scenarios, it's almost too polite to the point where you can't even move, and I've actually experienced that myself in Ann Arbor, but what I experienced today version 12 was just a little too assertive around pedestrians. Now, it didn't seem to do anything too unsafe. It wasn't like it was about to hit somebody, but there were definitely times where I would have waited and let pedestrians cross the road and V12 said, nope, I'm just gonna take that from you and go ahead. Now, I love FSD beta and I use it as much as I can, but I am a skeptic when it comes to true full self-driving, saying me sleeping and the car driving me to work. It's just something I'm still extremely skeptical of and I think that's fair. One of my large concerns that I still have is that the Cameras simply cannot see far enough in high-speed cross-traffic scenarios. Near the end of the video, you'll see more of this, but the car tries to pull out in front of some vehicles when they are coming at us at 60 or more miles per hour. And as of now, there's no proof that software won't fix this eventually, but from what I'm seeing here and what I've seen over my past three and a half years of FSD testing experience is it just feels like the cameras simply cannot see far enough. This is a 2019 Model 3 with Hardware 3, so maybe Hardware 4 would have done better in these scenarios, but overall, it's it's just the experience I've had. Before we get into more of the drive, the last thing I'll leave you off with, Tesla has pretty much released this only in California, other than a few select testers in other areas. So maybe there's a reason that they did not release it in Michigan yet, and there's a reason we see some of the mistakes we see in this video. But overall, it is an incredibly impressive drive. The downtown area, I believe we only had one intervention, maybe two. And then the rural area, I basically only took it to the hardest spots that I know my car has never been able to reliably do, just to see if version 12 was up for these challenges and it actually did way better than version 11, even though it still needed a little bit of help a couple of times. So enjoy my first drive with version 12. Hopefully this software will come to the rest of us very soon. Very nice. Oh, we're turning right in half a mile. Okay. I didn't even, yeah, I didn't realize. Oh yeah, the road kind of splits up here. So that, I mean, that's the right thing to do. Wonder if you can add. You want to try to trip it up right now? Right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this is a good spot. For yeah, do it. Um, try to add Trader Joe's right now. Okay. See if you can do it in time. It is so hard to get into that parking lot. Yeah, right there. It'll have to move to the left, um, and then turn into this crazy parking lot. This parking lot, it's just yeah, immediately changes lanes to where it needs to be. That was great. Our biggest frustration with lane changing has been V11 on the highway, actually. So oh, this, sure. This is V12 mm -hmm. on city streets, and right. it switches to 11 on the highway. It, 
whenever you tell V11 on the highway, at least this version of it, it's like it waits forever to change lanes. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed even for myself on V11 on the highway, when I initiate a lane change, it often just ignores me. <laughs> like, yeah. just straight up ignores me. It seems like half the time, right, Dex? Yeah, well, it's so like it weird. wants the distance of a semi right? yeah. to before it wants to get over. Maybe that's what it is. I haven't been able to pinpoint it to any specific scenario. It seems even when the highway is clear, right uh, lane change, left lane change, it just won't. It just sits there. And I'll turn it off, the turn signal off, turn it back on, and then maybe it'll do it. Yeah, so it's got to get into this left turn lane. Yeah. Now what what'll be interesting to see is like if it decides to park or it might just decide to stop. Oh yeah, I would love to see that. I have not seen And uh, I think I'm not sure yet. they've even really trained it on parking or like said you know, they don't have a rules approach to this. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, of course. It's just it, So it may wander around. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean we can uh, but people kinda do that when they're in a parking lot as they'll wander around. Yeah, we can delete this one. Oh, did we get rid of all our destinations here? Oh, no. All right, we can add them back in. Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. Rookie. I'm, I'm a rookie. <laughs> no biggie. Yeah, I should have added it. I should have added it for you. You're uh, the okay, driver. There's someone behind us. Yeah, let's see if they honk. Oh, we got an R1S over there. That's nice. What does that cost to produce? 140000 <laughs> <laughs> Next one's cheaper. Yeah? 100,000? <laughs> Alright, so there's a spot on our left. Oh, but it's coned off. It's coned off. And that's, I've noticed that also, V12 does not show cones for no reason. Yeah. Alright, so we'll, we'll... Okay. We have this Mercedes <laughs> behind us that probably want to... Yeah, that's fine. Go we, shopping. Yeah, we can, we can park and put in the destination again. Oh, it's got some spots up ahead. And All this right, person see. has some spots they can use. Let's see if it grabs a spot or not. No. It, I can even show that it's going to circle here. Okay. Open door. <laughs> yeah, this parking lot's always very busy, so. <laughs> All right, so this is going to keep going. Yeah. I'm on the wheel now. There you go. Nice. Yes, this is also very difficult left turn. Yeah, you have people... Okay, this, oh, this is all right. We have a bit of a danger lane here and good acceleration. Yeah, no, we that, that was fine. Yeah, that was fine. If you step on it, that's the right way to do it. But that's another difference between V11 and V12. V11 would have started that and then start hit the brake, do all this weird stuff. Uh, <laughs> Whereas V12 was like, oh, we're going. So I, didn't, I did not goose the accelerator at all there. Great. And right now I have it set for just to pick up the speed limit signs and, okay. and go that speed. We oh, can, you don't have the adaptive. Well, we it's can called. change it to that. Okay. We haven't been using it for a while. Is it not working well, or I heard some people were having problems yeah, with it. I think it's generally fine. Zero and go. Very we're nice. Turning that on, so it'll. it'll oh, open. cool! And it says right there, auto, with a line through it, and then max. So it kind of just decides. I gotta get a picture of that. That's actually really cool. I haven't seen that like up close. So it's just, it may do this uh, if we had it on the other setting, but it was deciding just to go slower than 25 there. Right. But I, I would say like the street kind of warranted that you should go about 20 on it. So I think it shows well. No, I agree. That felt like a good speed. Do we have speed bumps? Um, I don't know if on this route, but they're around. Yeah, they're okay. around Ann Arbor. So it handles different speed bumps based off of the type. Oh, so, okay. So if it's a, a speed hump, it'll it'll go to like 11 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. um, if it's like a hard bump, that's kind of like a, the shape of a curb almost. Yeah. It'll slow down to five miles an hour for that. Wow. And it's good. It, does a really good job spotting it. That's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, obviously with V11, they're very hit or miss. Yeah, getting a little scared by this guy here. It's but, a small lane. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, this road is very small two lane road. And it's going 38 in the, it thinks 25. 
Nice. Well, it thinks 40. Oh, now, okay, it just changed to 40, okay. I was going to say, I don't think this road is 25. Wow, look at that. 40 and it's going faster, which, like, heck yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I would be going 45. So. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that is definitely very local driving. Um, I just, wow, well, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's an interesting. Drive in the style of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Yeah, it's just interesting to let the robot do that, you know. Uh, obviously, it's a setting you can change, but I just feel like for the robot, just you know, just follow the law to the T. But I know that when I'm using it, I get a little annoyed going, you know, getting passed by everybody, going the speed limit. Yeah. So it's a nice option. So you can blame me now for speeding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's again, that's how people drive around here. The, the only thing I would do different on that road is I always stay, like, over to the left because the right edge is so messed up. Um, yeah, it's a little bumpy on the right. Right, and so I just ride the line pretty much the whole time, but if there's people there, I guess you can't. But I'm, So V12 will also slow down based off a of road type. Okay. So if it's really bumpy, mm -hmm. it'll slow down. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, V11 sometimes has that ability, but when it first... So when it first got V11, it, it will say slowing due to road type, mm -hmm. but it didn't activate basically as much as I had hoped. Yeah. Um, like in snow, I was like, oh, you know, maybe it'll see their snow and slow down, and it doesn't really. Have you experienced any snow? We did this morning. Okay. Yeah, it's a mixed bag. Mm -hmm. There there might be a different logic or training when it pulls out. So when it, it pulled out and it needed to turn at the same time it was pulling out, and it did one of these, you know, kind of Sick. assertive pullouts yeah. where with the snow it really wow. shouldn't have. Wow, um, it moved over really early for that. Yep, and we had a gap. There's a car behind us too. We had a nice size gap. That was good. Yep. Okay, I'm not sure. It's like going to do some kind of U-turn. Yep, thing. yeah, let it do it, let it do it. Boxy turnaround. Yep. Is this the place with the road construction you're talking about? No, that's near the end. Yeah, well, there's construction everywhere, so <laughs> That's why I'm asking. we're going to have plenty of that. But the, the specific one I was talking about is right, it's the last thing we do. Gotcha. So. But it did, uh, while it was in snow and it, mm -hmm. it was in motion and it needed to turn left, it, um, it seemed to, okay, it missed a pothole there. That was good. Yeah. Um, it, it was in motion, needed to turn left. And it, wow, that's it, that was good. It mm -hmm. seemed to sense that it didn't have all the grip, so it kind of like did it in stages where it, it slowed it. the turn, it's it reduced the braking as it lost the traction. Mm -hmm. So it it seemed to do well like once it was already in motion in the snow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. I mean, that whole little sequence there was was good. That first turn we moved into is just hard to get into because there's big curbs right there, but it handled it no problem. I'm going to be a little quieter because this is like your... Sure, sure, yeah, I know. Your love right here. It's cool. No, it's so, cool to have a conversation. Know, we're turning left. Mm -hmm. So this is one that always messes up because you have two the two left turn lanes and you need to stay in your left turn lane, right? You can't switch lanes in the middle of an intersection. Mm -hmm. And it always, like... 99% of the time we'll switch in the middle of this turn, so I'm really curious if it'll do that. And then after this turn, I will edit this to delete it, so we move on. So I'm going to rewind our minds to the last intersection. We had green. Yeah. The other car had green. Mm -hmm. They were turning right. They have to slow down more to turn right. We don't have to slow down as much, so we just went ahead yeah, of it. Yeah, that's a good point. I didn't even pick that up, but you're right. And we had a, a pretty big gap, but you know, technically... You it was there right away to the book and yeah. you know, we shouldn't quite have gone but i would have gone in that instance every time well that's what i'm saying i didn't even notice it because it was so it was the right move it was so natural even though technically yeah. they had right away they didn't really move so can we use the word human or no yeah yeah human human like <laughs> yeah i mean it's humans don't follow the book when they're driving which is kind of the big sticking point for a lot of this a lot of the things people complain about with the self-driving is that it's doing things too technically correct. So let's see. Mm -hmm. We do kind of have this guide car here to the left. Oh, is it gonna mess it up? No, it didn't. I always have it go into that lane 
or drift into that lane. And then it, it changed perfect. lanes. It did it perfect. It did it perfectly. All right, so I'll get rid of this. Get out of here, buddy. And we'll go to Jack's hardware next. And there was no stair stepping going from one lane to the next. I don't know if you've seen that in V11, but I see that. Um, V11 will keep its lane, yes, until it moves. I've, I saw, of course, the videos you were posting where it was just like, zoop, across yeah. like all the lanes, which again is technically illegal, I think, but it's what anyone would do and it's what you have to do to follow the navigation. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to complain about any of those things that are done safely. Um, and it signals, like, it, it immediately signals too? Yeah that's, yeah, that's another thing is the signaling is so much earlier. V11 waits until you've reduced your speed by like half. <laughs> and then it turns the, the signal on. So look at this, and then it's going to move over. Yeah, very good. Uh, whereas you need to turn your stern signal on before you change your behavior. It's something I've been complaining about forever. And I'm seeing that here. It's basically putting the stern signal on and then changing behavior to do that next move. Other, well, not really with the lane changes. But again, I'm kind of okay with that. So, all right, we got a couple difficult intersections coming up here, so I'm glad to see pedestrians. <laughs> I didn't know how busy it would be. A little bit of braking for that crosswalk, which I think is legit because you can't see that well. And this intersection is usually decently busy. I've waited here for so long because people just keep coming and they'll walk right in front of you and the car will never go. So this is where it's going to have to be kind of assertive. So right after these people, I would just go. Oh, yep, 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 see, because that's what happens. Those people will just start walking in front of you. Yeah. But the amount that that moved, <laughs> the amount that that moved was better than uh, what V11 would do. Now, this is great. You have to crawl through the intersection like that. Yeah, that was good. V11 gets stuck there very long, so a little bit of debris in the road that was not picked up. All right, this is great. Pretty sure it's illegal to park there. <laughs> and they're not even in the car. What do you want? Couldn't have done it any better. Wow. Very good. I will say I've had V11 do similar, you know, go-arounds like that. Okay. But that felt great. I mean, that's uh, not a bad thing. We've seen that consistently. Yeah, yeah consistently. going around the parked cars. Yep. That's good. Okay, so another pedestrian. Everything is obviously picked up really well. If you're in a slow lane in V11 in traffic, yeah, a little hesitancy stop and there. go, does it, um, does it, will it switch lanes into a faster lane? Yeah, yeah. again, sometimes it just seems to get stuck. Okay. But yes, yeah, it will. Bradford, I'm going to be disappointed when I go home and get back in my car. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Dang it. Imagine you're in a Cybertruck. You don't even got autopilot. <laughs> There's that. No, it's actually worth it. Cry me a river. No, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see. Yes, dude. Wow. Wow. That, that was, was close. That was close, but like in a good way. Holy moly. V11 would have been slamming the brakes for that big time. That was really good. No, no. Cybertruck is worth no autopilot. Ask me again in two months. I might not say that, but <laughs> but as of right now, I'm I'm all for it. So yeah, we'll stop here. Crazy intersection. Yep, yep. That's a weird one. That my car's actually got stuck in a loop back there before, where it would just kept going in a circle. So V12 did well. It's after we're gonna turn left here, and then we'll turn right, and then I'll change the nav. Here's the shoes everybody likes to comment on. I guess that means something about drug dealers. I don't know. <laughs> That's what all the comments on uh, YouTube say. Yes, uh big shoe line yep, here. Yep, there's a bunch of them. All right, I'm just going to get ready for this. Edit. All right, so this turn actually V11 has been doing well for, for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's still like, you know, you got to see traffic's coming from. So what do we have it set up to do? Do we hit it's, done? No, no, no. Just, just I'm, I got it ready. Okay. So basically once it makes the right turn, then I'll X out of this okay. and, hit, and hit done. We're gonna turn right. Right, we're gonna turn right, that's right. We have a car coming now. Oh yeah, I would've um, went there. We oh. can go. Yeah, it waited, but. Road closed to through traffic. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh-oh. <laughs> and our car's like, I don't care, I'm going. <laughs> Sweet, let's see where it goes. See, I didn't even look to the right, because um, I was looking left, because luckily I'm not driving, but. Um, 
wow, it's rerouting. So normally you would go straight here and look, that's obviously all closed. So, so this next one is closed, This, this, uh, but then it's going to do a hard right. Yeah, to be honest, this is probably map data um, because I've noticed if you have a good connection, a lot of times it does pick up these closed roads on the map data okay. and will avoid them. But that's closed also. Yep. Where are we going to go? I did, I, okay. We're doing the hard right, so we're... Yeah, but this is closed top. right here. No, <laughs> right. Like a, like more oh, than right there. Right. Oh, cool. Hairpin. See, the car knows and I don't. See? <laughs> I didn't even... That's what we run into. It's like... So many yeah. times. Yeah. We're second guessing it and it's right. No, that's great. Yeah, so normally what you do here is you go straight. Um, and then there's some difficult stuff up there, but we're going to miss it. I mean, we don't really have a choice. Uh, so that's, that's interesting. I had no idea any of this construction was here. So... Yeah, so we'll go this way. That's a one way, so it's pretty simple. Great. Yeah, beautiful. So where is this going? You know what? I'm going to edit this again because all this is honestly probably going to be pretty boring. We need to get over to Hopcat. That is the one of the hardest parts. We're hopping to Hopcat. <laughs> yeah. So it's also doing really well with my rerouting. What, what year is this car? 2019. 2019. The data connection on this thing is amazing. When I do my reroutes like this, it takes my model, well, I don't have it anymore, but <laughs> the model Y I had uh, some time to like update the map and think about what to do. This is like, I mean, immediately switching. And I don't know if that's a consequence of V12 or not, but what I'm experiencing here is awesome. I mean, it's really nice. What year was your Y? Uh, 2021. Oh, wow. Yeah. Two years newer. Yep, so it was newer. So blam, oh yeah, right for all these potholes. Did it hit it on your side? Oh yeah. Okay. That's what V11 does too. It I didn't aims feel for like them. it hit. <laughs> it hit at least a couple of them for sure. Yeah, it hit one. But... <laughs> so yeah, potholes seem to be pretty hit or miss. Have you had to avoid potholes? Yeah, we yeah. had to drive okay. right over the top of one. Just like, you know, put it Oh, right cool, the cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I thought I saw that. Uh, but I wasn't sure, but so it's sometimes we'll avoid them. It, it's hard here because some of the roads are more pothole than not. So you don't always have a, an option besides slowing down, I suppose. Oh, yeah. So here you go. This is going to be wicked busy. Yeah, this is a. Uh, oh, it's going to turn left. Well, do we want to wait for kids all day on this crosswalk? No, yeah. I'll oh, let it. Oh, oh, yeah, there oh, you go. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. They yep, waved me yep, through. Yep, I touched yep, my yep. accelerator. And you got a pedestrian here. Oh, and they waved us through too. Oh yeah. All right. That there's the the too much assertiveness. It's almost too much and not enough because if it would have followed through, would have been fine. Would have moved right through there. But yeah. it just did the the same thing V11 does. But hmm, it was more assertive than V11, but not enough. If that makes sense. Did you? Was it okay? I touch the accelerator when I did. Oh, of course you do. You're in control. You do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, I would have done the same thing. I don't want to piss off other road users. No, uh, 100%, I agree. If I can avoid it. Yeah, I get a lot of, of comments that are like, oh, you should just, you know, let it do its thing. And I, you know, I push it as much as I can. And that was our first intervention, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I push it as much as I can, and but I'm not going to be getting in people's ways and ruining their day <laughs> over this. So. Live to drive another day. Right, exactly. Wow, this is an interesting way. I don't wonder why it's... Oh, okay, it's going that way. Oh yeah, you got a curb there. You can't do that. Yeah, this is, it is so like antsy is a good word for it. It's like, let's go, which I'm not going to lie. I love that. <laughs> That's uh, what I want it to do. Well, it's ending up where Hopcat's on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so fine. Maybe that's part of why it did this. Yeah, could be. No, this is a, this route's fine. Yep. We're going to get through the really difficult part. pedestrians are just like interesting whatever, what whatever yeah why is it wow it let one go and it didn't let the other one go yeah that's the second one sped up she was gonna try and get in front for sure which she I, you know she should have i mean definitely the car should have stopped for her in that scenario and that's where v11 in my opinion really shines is all pedestrian uh bicyclists all of those interactions are just so perfect they err on the side of caution but 100 percent in a good way so some more debris there which i mean i wouldn't do anything for but now I, so I'll, I'll just add, mm -hmm. and what it did was safe. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it didn't do anything unsafe. It wasn't speeding through. It's yeah. just I think it was a little rude is all. Yeah. <laughs> I would have waited and let everybody go. Um, I, to me, it was obvious her intention was to cross the street. So just stop the car yeah. and wait. Um, but but V12 is, uh, is, is pushy uh, compared to V11 for sure. Maybe we need to tell yeah. it we're not in New York anymore. Yeah, for sure. Maybe you trained it on New York or something. And that's so a great gonna, point. I'm going to switch this to uh, chill. Sure, let's see if that changes it. But but that's a great point because in New York, something like that would be totally normal. Yeah. Whereas here, it's not. So how do you make up for those things? All right, we're here. Oh, it's parking? Kind of? Wow, that's crazy. Um, okay, I'll put in the next one. Or I'll get rid of this. I'm just going to touch the accelerator. Yeah, get it going. Yeah, people are honking at us. They didn't like that. That was our bad. That's my bad. I should have I should have changed it out. The hazards. They should yeah. See that. I'm surprised they didn't go around you. That person waved and then the car started to go. That was wild. Does it do that? Yeah, we haven't been able to track it that much. Um in that scenario, it looked like it did. <laughs> I mean, that was it could be coincidence, but the car stopped. I saw their little hand do this and then the car went. I mean, it was spot on. That's, so that's at least the second case somebody's waved us and it that. and it listened to him with, well we don't know right? okay 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 we had it once with uh james Dama. yeah yes i saw that yep man everybody's mad down here oh this guy's backing up yeah lots of lots of horns is he trying to park here is this a parking spot uh i don't know maybe right there. he's gonna have to keep going there's no room we can't do that <laughs> Yeah, this is why I wanted to go here. This is tough. Um, no, was it good? Did you see it? Backing up again. Why? What is this guy doing? We can't really back up much. Yeah, this is super weird. And he's got a green. Okay, that is... That's not anything bad with autopilot for sure. <laughs> that's a weird thing. I don't know what he's thinking. Oh, yeah, so we are cramped here. Oh, what are you going to do? They have a walk now. There's nowhere to go. So they're just like, whatever. Pedestrians just so do not care here. No, no, no. They, they big time, oh. they big time have the right of way um, in Ann Arbor. So, and the car doesn't seem to like jive with that. That, so Interesting. I just, I just had a disengagement. So there were some people that were, I don't know, they were like three feet from the car and it wanted to go. Yep. Well, they had a walk. They had the walk sign. So the car definitely should have been waiting. That's something, I mean, it couldn't see. Same as me and you. Um, and it should be able to stop for that. So it's just, I mean, the over... Well, this this camera at the, mm -hmm. the B pillar yeah. should have been able to see them. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Or even the front face. I mean, the front facing camera should have seen, again, if we're talking like neural net and it's looking at the videos and driving the same way a human does and looking around, mm -hmm. the front facing cameras could see the walk, no walk sign. And it should have known that it was time for humans to walk, so don't move. Yeah. I, I don't know if it has that ability right now, but that's kind of, if that's <laughs> Tesla's goal, that's where we're going. Like, look how close that guy's walking to that car. It may it may have been a thing where it just wanted to get out of the intersection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's hard. What, what's that's your a tough situation. What's your priority? Do you just sit in the middle of the intersection, or do you try to move through and get out of the way, even though technically, you know, the walk sign is on? It's hard to say. And then, I don't, what is this guy doing? This guy is also like... He's holding a bag of water and walking around. Yeah, he's walking up to our car. I thought he was going to try to sell us some water, but he didn't. All right, this intersection is always tough. Again, just because it's so busy and there's no green arrow. Mm -hmm. So I'm so glad it's so busy down here right now. I didn't expect that. So we're that. getting an opportunity. We've got oh, a yeah. pedestrian kind of blocking Boom. for us. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that was great. A little easy button there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to put it. Yep, he basically solved that for us. Oh, that's crazy. So our full back blocking away for us. Yep. And then I've been, oh, they're picking someone up. I've been honked at this stop sign. V11 stopped. There was a pedestrian walking in front of me, so it can't move. And somebody honked at me. Mm -hmm. oh, what? There's a pedestrian standing in front of my car. What do you want me to do? Wow, wow, very good. V11 always gets stuck there, even when nobody's around. So that was nice to see. And we don't think it's just doing it because of a lead car. 
we've had situations where the lead car did something it shouldn't have done, and mm -hmm. this car did the right thing to do. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's not just follow the leader. Yeah, that's a big thing people like to point out is if there's a, which the car will follow lead cars, but a lot of people will diminish what the car does because, oh, there was a car there. And it's like, it doesn't always matter that much. To be honest, at first I thought it was, and mm -hmm. then I, as I, you know, I've been in this car for ten days now. Yeah, um, I, I'm less and less leaning that way. Ten sure. days, you guys are booking it. Ten days? That sounds like so fast. Uh, this, this is, is day, this, this is day, day seven. Seven. Oh yeah. my seven, god! Seven, seven, seven or eight. Yeah. You are flying. Okay, V11 always likes to fly into this bus lane here. Uh -huh and think that that's a lane it needs to. So that right there almost makes me think lane drift is fixed because it would oh, always dip in there. for a second there. But mm -hmm. we do need to turn right here. Right. Well, yeah, that's why I thought that it could turn right. But no, no, no I'm saying even if we were going to go straight, mm -hmm. the second that opens up where the buses park, yeah. V11 just flies into that bus lane. I experienced that at home. Yeah? Yeah, with V11? Yep. Yeah, it's awful, isn't it? It's annoying. And it's been like almost a year of that same behavior in the same spots. I don't know why Tesla thinks that's okay, but... <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not uh, uh, dangerous. It's just, uh, it's annoying. Right? Yeah. It's like, no, this is not a road lane. Right. Yeah, well, good. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> well, he, right, so he, he followed me, so I'm sure he hears all my complaining. So this is, um, <laughs> our destination is going to be on the right after we turn left. Yeah, this is, to be honest, this is a totally different route. What than we, what I expected. What do we want to do after we turn here? Yeah, I thought we were gonna be over there. I don't know, man. Are you good? You wanna, you wanna go pick up my cyber truck and yeah, let's try go. the lane drift one, or you let's you go, need to let's go pick up the cyber truck. Yeah, and all then, right. Uh, go go test your situation where it always gets it wrong. Hundred percent. So uh, for almost a year. It's getting ready to stop here. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, so Interesting. We'll pretend that it finished stopping there because yeah. it totally would have. <laughs> And we'll be on our way. All right, I'm Bradford Ferguson with Rebellioner.com. We're here with Chris, Dirty Tesla. How's it going? For Tesla now, is, is, is Michigan left, Tess? Can we turn here? Yeah, this is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna engage V12 uh, here and let it do this. Yeah, so here's that traffic. So we definitely need to wait. Now there's a, a black, little black SUV that we probably should wait for. Now, if you were Jersey, we definitely would have gone, but the car knows it's in Michigan. No, that was perfect. Really nice takeoff, too, which V11 does not have. It gets on this road and barely starts going, mm -hmm. and you're like, dude, people are going 60 to 70. You need to move it. So that was good. And now what we're going to look for is these little openings in the lane here for these Michigan lefts. In V11, for almost a year now, it just drifts over. It just moves into that... Uh, lane and then it will either move back over or hit the brakes abruptly or try to complete the turnaround even though it's supposed to go straight so we're gonna hope it doesn't do that so here's the first one good and I think this next one is the one that it messes up a hundred percent of the time so it'll get in this left lane mm -hmm. no turn signal or nothing it just drifts good. over there come on V12 oh yes thank you amazing so simple, but I'm so happy to see that. And then this next one, it'll do it too. Um, the next one's interesting because sometimes it'll move over and then correct itself, uh, but it tries to do it here too. So let's see if it can handle it. Nope, perfect, exactly what it should do. Nope, that is great. Great, great, great. So it's in the lane to do U-turn. It needs to go straight for Roll King, but it doesn't have to go this way. I mean, it doesn't... Oh boy, we're going with this truck. Nice. Safe. Yeah, that was good. We were in the wrong lane, but it, it, did, a, it did a great. Cool, that was good. So it, it may just stop right at the front door. And we can see if your, your Cybertruck's getting mobbed. Or... <laughs> yeah, for sure. And to be fair, for a robo taxi, stopping at the front door kind of makes sense, right? And then it goes and parks, but. Oh, it's getting over. Yep. And. Time to go shopping. That's right. That's it. Cool. Yeah, no, that's a legit way to do it, especially since it moved over a bit. Awesome. So uh, let's let's get impressed. I go 60 on this road. 
um, and I still will, will get past going 60, so, no, that's great. It's only five over, that's not bad. No. Yeah, all the cars in front of us are going faster. All right, so yeah, we need to move over here, which it's doing. And then, it's not this left turn lane. Sometimes V11 will get confused and take this first one on accident. Okay. So we're good there. All right, I'm gonna say my, uh, this is, my, yeah. my <laughs> prayers here. Good luck, you know, feel free to take we over. We already got a car stacked up here. Yeah, so, so you gotta go around this guy. Okay, he got out of our way, that's good. So do we stay on the right uh -huh. here? Uh-huh, yep. Okay. This is already better than V11, okay. already. Now we can go if it is looking. Yep. But... Woo, all right, that was good. Boom. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy with that. It didn't go at the earliest moment it could have gone, but it's, yeah, it's totally good. Let's do that one again. Okay. Yeah, the problem, yeah, and you'll get to do a U-turn if you do it again. The, the problem with V11 on that one is it never accelerates enough. It makes the complete stop, and then it just inches out. Um, so that was, that was great. It did it. <laughs> it's a matter of confidence. Let's do it. All right, so we got to move all the way over there, which people do this daily. I see pe humans do this daily. Move over, do the U-turn, and then try that left again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh boy. We're not going fast enough. Nope. Yep, that was no good. Oh, boy, no. Oh, boy, no. Good. Yep. So is this the fake spot, and then yep. we go to the next one? Yep, okay. so we skip this one which I've made this mistake as a human, <laughs> accidentally getting in that one. It's just not the way people would drive it here. You know, maybe they would pull out in another state or whatever, but um, I wouldn't pull out when I was trying to do that there. No way. It, 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 yeah, yeah, we're it, clear. If you pulled out there, like, when it was doing it, you'd have to, like, just floor the accelerator. Right, for sure. Well, I can tell even just from that, even though it's clear, it was a very easy case, the acceleration across there is far better than what I get with V11. That's good. Yeah. Because, you know, we're not, like, being wimps about it. Uh, you know, they'll still call you wimps because they're not sitting in the car. <laughs> I'll tell you, as, as a human, when it's a corner like that, sometimes you can't quite tell what lane somebody's in, right? For sure. And so you really have to gauge, oh, that person passed across that other person, so he must be in the other lane. You kind of have to do a little bit of math that way. Okay, oh. this lane's open. Oh, this is awful. This black car to our left, we need to wait. Now we can go. Oh, it's get it. all the way over. All right, that was Look sick. Look at that. That was sick. I'll take it. <laughs> Good now this is going to be clear, so it should go right away. It's going to wait for this truck. No, it's not. No, no it's going to go. <laughs> I could tell it was going to go. Yeah. It was just making its complete stop at the stop sign. And then it gets over. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Now we're at our left turn again. So let's see. What I would do is I would get next to him. Okay. Nope. All right. So there's a maroon SUV coming in our lane. Nope. nope. <laughs> Why is it going? Go ahead and grab the camera, Dex. Yep. Got it. Okay. There you go. Oh. Yeah. With that acceleration boost, you can do those tight ones, but... That second one was... That's when I would have gone, so I think that was fine. 